Hello everybody, this is T and I'm back with another video. This is the day the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. I am not not dressed appropriate in my eyes to show myself, but I wanted to let you all know. Please be looking out for um, some new content. I'm working on getting a new camera, um, tripod, things like that. I want to get an iCam so um, I can hook to my computer so that I can go live and you know talk to you guys um, I am also I'm also going to be doing a giveaway soon maybe this weekend because um, I said once I reach 300 I was going to do that so I'm definitely going to do that but what I'm going to do is put everybody's names in a bucket that's on my page and probably pick some people out from there so that nobody can, you know, say, well, you pick this person, you pick that person. Um, then another thing, something else, I have some really, really good news. I'm so excited. Um, there's a baby coming into my family. And, oh, God, there's a baby coming. Let's just say that. Um I'm trying to think what else, what else, what else. My birthday is October 8th. Um, I'm going to be doing something for my birthday. Um, I'm going to definitely be leaving. Well, my birthday is October 8th. So I'll definitely be leaving my cash app down below between now and October 8th. You know, if you'd like to send me something so that I can get something for my birthday or something like that if you like to send me something uh for my birthday that would be fine um i don't have a p.o box right now so uh i'm def i can definitely can't give out my address so if you want to that's why i always say it's better to probably use the cash app than to you know but i am going to get a p.o box but i can't I don't want to get a P.O. box right now because, you know, you know, I'm in the process of trying to move because um, of what's going on, you know, from the pandemic earlier on. A lot of people had lost their homes or whatever, and I'm kind of going through that right now. So we still been looking. We looked at a few. Somebody got those that we looked at before we, we could get it. So it's kind of hard. Like I said, I don't know. We may be going in a hotel. You know, those are really expensive. So we don't know what's going to happen yet right now with that. But um, I'm just letting you all know, you know, a lot of the things that's coming up. And I just, and I would like to tell all my subscribers, new, old people are just coming in um, to leave some questions down in my description box that you like to ask me um, and I will answer all those questions I will answer all those questions Saturday um, on my live so please leave any comments you have for me in the description box in the comments in the comments down below and let <laughs> it could be uh, about my disability how I became disabled just anything you feel you want to know about me, uh, my husband, uh, you know, where he works, you know, just certain stuff like that. Um, I think that's about it. But, yeah, I'm really and seriously and truly working on new content. I'm definitely, definitely going to have my new intro done. Uh, I probably won't have it done until my birthday because I want to really be dressed up. <laughs> So I'll, I'll probably do it on that day that way I can kill two, two, three birds with one stone. So like I said, there's a lot, I got a lot of things coming up. I'm working on, I'm working on, I'm working on. It's hard. It's hard. Whoever said YouTube is not a job. You are a liar. This is definitely a job. I know other people may have other jobs. This could be their side hustle. Who knows? But before you think about doing YouTube, Make sure you want to do all the everything that comes with it. it it's it's a little, it's time consuming, but I believe later on down down the line it's worth it. So I just want to say I love all my subscribers. I appreciate you all, all my all my new subscribers, all my OGs, and share some of my videos. They can help someone else. I love you all, and I pray everybody has a blessed week.
piece Sorry, everyone there was something else I thought of and I wanted to talk about a lot of the kids that are going to school we all know that a lot of the kids majority of the kids were out uh, for like what a year or so when COVID first started because they wanted all the kids to be safe and I understand it, and that was that is great but you have to understand a lot of the mothers that whose kids were home we all know a lot of mothers want their kids to go to school they want them out of the house they they feel um like it's too much them being home all the time like that you know whatever the case may be so i believe what's happening is a lot of these mothers fathers whoever whoever the caretaker is are sending these kids to school rather they're rather they're healthy or not because they don't want them um, they they have to work. They don't can't find a sitter and all type of stuff, you know. So a lot of these kids, I believe, are going to school sick, and you know that's not good for a lot of the other kids are that are in the schools. So I just wanted to say that um, if you have children and if they have a sniffle, any type of thing, please keep them home um, until that goes away because that's jeopardizing like the whole classroom. Thank you. I just wanted to throw that out there. <laughs>